All right, all right. Welcome back, guys. And uh, let's continue from where we left off in the last episode. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at creating an interface that allows us to perform different types of operation on our services. So for that, we're going to come down to the DB. We can actually use this. It's not doing much. So in here, we're going to create a service control. So in here, we're going to have pi service control. It's going to be an interface telling us that this is going to be our services we give. And for our service, we want to have a create service behavior. And to create our service, we are going to pass in the data, which is going to be of type interface, because the data of different services would require will be different. So as a result of that, we can only pass an interface as a data. Then for every service, we need to specify the user email because the email is more like the unique key, the primary key for a user in this scenario. So this is going to be a string. Then finally, we want to pass the gene from test we are going to be working with. So CTS star gene dot from tests. So at the end of the day, a great service would only return an error because that's the expectation. It's either you create a service or you have an error. So we also have the update service and it's literally the same thing as the create service. Then finally, we have the get service. So for the get service, it only requires the user email. So it means you want to get services related to a specific user. So we have the user email and the result, which is going to be an interface or an error. So yeah, those are the three services we are going to be having. Now we can create specific services. Yep, let's fix this. It should be ordinary e small letter e. Okay. So now we can come back to our DB and create card service. So now this service is specific to cards. We don't have to start differentiating what service we want to create. So first and foremost, we're going to have package DB. So the next thing I want to do here, I want to create a type for our card service. So type card service, which is going to be a struct. So every other information will be associated with this card service struct. And also, it should implement what we specified in the service from show interface. So that's something to note. So here we want to have reference to the DB so that we can communicate with the DB because now we can interact directly with the DB like the user. So we get access to the DB database. So I just brought this CDB. So for card DB. So the next thing we want to have a new card service. So for new card service. We just need to take into the database. Then we return the card service. That's pretty straightforward. So now we can define the different functions that are going to be associated with the card service. And all this function has to work with what we've defined at our interface. So now according to the suggestion, we have um, this create service. So we have the details and interface. We have the user email. We have the contest as well. Like that. And it returns an error. Oh, yeah. And it returns an error. So for now, we just return new and let's define the other ones. So the other is going to be the update service. Then the final one would be the get service like that. And yeah, there we have it. So now we can return our card service trot in the place of our service control. Yep. So that's what we want to deal with. So how do we use all this? We've created this. How do we actually use it? So now we can come back to our service and we can have a map of all our possible services. So what I mean by that is I can have services like this, and I can have this as map, or rather spam map into strange, then db dot service control, like that. So it means I'm registering all the services in my services. That's what it means. So I want to have a function for registering services. I don't want to do all that within here. So I can say, so pay into service and yeah, set services just like that. But that means I would have to call it and I don't want to call it from any other place. So what I'll do instead is I'll just have a function associated here. So from register services. So this is going to take in the DB. So I'll call this my DB so that we don't have interference. 
And here I get to have start it here and so. And here we're expected to return this structure. So I'm not going to do all this unnecessary stuff. So what I'll do is return and map into this. Then specify what I want. So first thing first, I'm going to specify utils, the service lists, not service lists rather, but collections, utils dot collections dot card generation service. And this could be equals to db dot new card service then my db. Yeah, let's remove all this. Yep. So now there is no error because the cats db, even though it's returning a card service, there's no error because it's implementing all the service control uh interfaces. What's the error here? Yeah, service is, is unused. So now that we've created a function to register service, now we can do a dot services equals to register the service. Now we've done that. Now in here, when we try to create service, the first thing we have to do is to get the parent, the type we are dealing with. So we can have service type equals to cts.getParent or cts.param.type. So now we have the type. And we want to check if this type is within our registered service. So remember, the register service is a map. So the map is like a key. So we want to check if the type is a key in our services type. So here we can have the service control, let's put it like that, comma exists into a dot services, then the type. So this should be star because we are working with a reference. So now if it doesn't exist, then we can return this. So here we can return to HTTP dot status for video. So here we can now say the specify service not available. So specify it service type not available. So that means we can't offer the service you specified. So we're not saying we don't have it or we don't care. It just means we don't have the service for now. And now we can just say service control dot create service and we specify whatever data we need to specify. So because we are sending in our contest over, all we have to do is to get the user email, which we can get by coming here. So we have the email here. So we have email. So for the data, we want the validation to be done on the card service itself. So for the data for now, we just send it new. We are going to extract the data from the contest. So we have the email and the CTS. And that's all we have to do. So we are expecting an error here. If there's an error, then we'll return it. So better still, we want to undo the error. So we have error like that. So if error is not new, so we can return an internal server error for now. But later on, we are going to deal with how we undo when the validation error has kicked in. And in that case, it's not only an internal server error, but a bad request error. We're going to undo that later on. And now we can have CTS GH. Then we have the message which says service created and we can control. So yeah, we are done with this. So that was the flow we want to have. And that's all we're going to do for now. So in the next episode, then we're going to implement the create card service itself. So yeah, see you in the next episode and bye for now.